Hello students, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss some of the questions uh, given in the pre-final examination. Uh, this is set 3 and uh, now we are going to discuss uh, question number 7. Uh, let me read out the question uh, here. The cone of base diameter 75, axis 80, long is resting on the HP with the base. Means, this is the cone. This is resting on the HP with the base. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to the VP and inclined at 45 degrees to the HP means auxiliary inclined section plane. Cutting the axis at the point of 35 mm from the apex point means from the top of the apex means the height of the cone is 80 means from the top 80 point 35 mm below the apex point. Draw its projection front view, sectional top view, sectional side view and true shape of the section means here we have to draw the four views front view, top view, side view and the true shape of the section, right? So, this is set 3, question 7. Let's start the problem. Uh, cone, cone, diameter 75, axis 80, cutting at 35 from apex. Right? By auxiliary inclined section plane 45 degrees to the HP. So let's try the problem. I'll be taking the XY over there. And the main axis here, right, and here will be coming the side view, here the top view, front view, true shape, side view. The diameter of the cone is around 75, 75 half, 37.5. So whenever you are drawing any of the solids, you have to go for the base true shape. Here the cone base true shape is a circle. I am drawing the true shape over here. Then I will be projecting this for the front view. <clears throat> here I am not drawing this dark because I don't know which part is remained and which part would be uh, removed because it is a section of solids This is top view, this is front view and here I will be drawing the side view also because it is asked in the question. We have to draw all uh, three views. If uh, this is uh, XY, this one would be X1, Y1 because you may get two side views, left side view and right side view for the first angle of position and uh, reverse for the third angle of projection. Coming for the side view, if you are drawing like this, this would be very convenient. Let me extend this.
normally this is the uh, projection of a cone uh, because we are cutting this and uh, these are the end generators of this cone we have four end generators one two three four generators here also four generators but this won't be sufficient uh, for our uh, diagram so i'll be taking uh, more uh, end generators so i'll be dividing this into eight equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 Six, seven, eight parts. So let's project that uh, above. This is one dash. This is uh, two dash and eight dash. This is. Three dash and seven dash. This is four dash, six dash, and this is five dash over here. Uh, coming to this one also, we have to draw that same. This point would be seven double dash, and this one would be eight double dash, six double dash, and this one would be one double dash. Phi double dash and uh, coming to this would be two double dash and four double dash and this would be three double dash and coming to the apex point this one would be O one and bottom would be O two this is O two dash this is O one dash O one double dash O two double dash let's join these also now coming to the section plane. Don't draw these lines dark now itself. After finishing the section, then we'll go for uh, darkening the remaining portion of the cone. Now our section plane, auxiliary inclined section plane, is 45 degrees to the HP, and it is cutting the uh, uh, cone exactly 35 mm below the apex point. This is the apex point, and uh, 35. Means from here, our section plane is cutting the cone. So let me keep this for the 45 degrees, right? And I'll be cutting this one. Long dash dotted lines is a section plane, and you have to indicate this mark means this portion. Arrow mark means this is removed and this is remained. Means this I have to draw light. Means this is remained and this is I have to draw dark. This is remained. So now I'll be darkening this. Right. Now this portion is remained and this portion is remained for the bottom. so i'll i can dark this bottom also because the bottom of the cone is not disturbed with the section plane see here the section plane is not touching the bottom so i can draw this dark so this portion light this portion dark now uh, you got uh, some uh, intersection point with the section line to this generators so let's name them this is p dash first one uh, let's go in this direction this is p q next this one p q r next this point yes this point p q r yes t dash next coming to this one on this generator p q r yes t u v w dash right these are the points and this can be coincident here directly right now coming to the projector from the front view already is the section part we have to project that down we have to project this side right so t 
एस एंड यू वी एंड आर डब्ल्यू सी राइट दीज आर द प्रोडिक्टेड पॉइंट एंड वी कैन प्रोजेक्ट दिस डाउन ऑल्सो दिस पी डैश प्रोजेक्टर लाइन इज ऑन वन डैश एंड ओ वन डैश वन डैश एंड ओ वन सो दिस इज पी फ्रंट यू पी डैश टॉप यू पी राइट नेक्स्ट क्यू एंड डब्ल्यू Q and W will be falling on two dash and O one dash, eight dash and O one. So this would be the Q and uh, this would be the W, right? Uh, next coming to R, that is directly falling onto this. So for these type of things, you have to just draw the line up to the end generators. That from that point to the this separator or this. line and from this measure this one draw an arc draw an arc this point point would be r this point would be v right next coming to u and s yes, that would be falling on 6 uh, and 4 next coming to t right p q r s yes, t u so with this point we can finish off the section top view with the light stroke lines the light stroke lines you can represents this over here and if you are satisfied with this one you can draw dot right this is section 1 so for section 1 we have to represent dust with the hatching lines thin dark lines 45 degrees and 2 mm or 2 to 3 mm can be the gap this is thin dark and 45 degrees line with the gap of 2 to 3 mm for time saving i'll be drawing like this you can use the drafter now hatching is finished now project this points above here right t that would be falling on 5 and o1 so this is 5 and this is o1 means t double dash next yes yes would be falling on 4 and o1 uh, this is 4 and uh, this is o1 yes double dash next coming to r that is falling on 7 and 3 7 and 3 this would be the r double dash and coming to q q would be falling on 2 and 8 this is uh, 2 and 8 q double dash next p would be falling on 1 and o1 this is 1 and o1 this is p double dash next coming to w w is be falling on 8 and uh, o1 see here w double dash and uh, v would be falling over here v double dash and next would be falling u so with this point you can finish off the section portion of the side view with the light stroke lines you can finish off this If you are satisfied with this curve, just drawing them dark. This is a section one. You can hatch it.
and uh, this is the remained portion so this is uh, side view left side view this is front view this is top view so this is remain remote thing remote thing remain remain so this does now we have to find out the true shape in either of this views you are not getting the true shape means original shape of this section so for this you have to draw the auxiliary views taking the projectors from here so for auxiliary views i'll be drawing the parallel line uh, reference pa uh, line parallel to the section uh, our auxiliary section line this is x dash and y dash now project this draw the perpendicular uh, lines from this one each and every point poke it for next methods next steps you are also poke this now p dash p measure from this reference line to the p this is the reference line this is the reference line x y x dash y dash keep on this reference line draw on this means p dash p and this will be the true shape of the section always will be mentioning the true shape with the capital letters this is p capital p next for a q on the q dash and q we have got this keep on this here right next for w w keep on w this one so this would be q this would be w right next r keep on this go for r keep on this go for r this would be capital r next coming to v keep on this measure v next keep on this measure v this would be v next yes and u this is the line coming to yes this is yes and next uh, coming to v this is v next coming to t keep on t keep it so this would be u this would be t and this would be yes t q r s t u v w right so with this points join this with a free hand or else use french curves So if you are satisfied with this uh, curve, then draw it. Done. This is the true shape of the section and hatch it 45 degrees, same like this. I am not using any drafter. I'll be drawing freehand. so this is true shape 
this is the front view, this is the top view and this is the left side view. So here we have finished with the droids front view, front view, sectional top view, sectional top view, sectional side view, sectional side view and true shape of the section, true shape of the section. Uh, with this we have finished the seventh problem, cone base 75 diameter in axis 80 and it is cut by auxiliary inclined section plane 45 degrees to the HP and at a point 35 mm. Means from the top from the top that is thirty five mm. Uh, this is the diameter. I'll be mentioning this over here. Seventy five and uh, this would be the height of the cone 80 right so with this we have finished the seventh problem I hope everyone understand how to draw the section of cone with auxiliary inclined section plane so thanks for watching and uh, do subscribe the channel regularly uh, for updates in engineering drawing thank you